I don't have a bowl on, that's weird. <laughs> I was like, why does my head fit in the frame? <laughs> Good morning, lovely. Zoe Tilots here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And what a place to start, but in Central Station in Sydney. I uh, got a very early start this morning and a very special trade to start the day with Dom. Good day, guys. You've probably you seen Dom in a few other videos, but this is going to be the trade that finally gets me my unknown badge. So thank you, first no of worries, all. Good morning, welcome. <laughs> got a shiny purple crow for you. Let's get rid of the star on that one. Appreciate it. Thank you That's very okay. much. That's okay. So cheap at Ultra Friends as well. I know. It's well. great, isn't it? So second crow for you. You're able to evolve an M for me from Dortmund, which I'm catch you guys there in a month. Thank you so so much. And, ah, not lucky, but not lucky. But but uh, but. Amazing. Really strong attack. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay. <laughs> and there it is. Bang. Thank you so, so much for that, Thank dude. A oh, bit more training to do, and then a flight, and then another flight, and eventually we'll see Mum today over in New Zealand. So let's get rolling. Hi, guys. Doesn't that sound super lovely to wake up to? Oh my goodness. Good morning, lovelies. It is the following day uh, and it's like 7am, but it feels like, what would it be? 5am for back at home in Australia. I don't want to be too loud. I'm sure most people are waking up. It's a work day. 7am in Haruru Falls here in New Zealand. Everything's a bit wet as well, so I don't want to lean on anything. But... We've got some exciting news with a new event coming for Pokemon Go. Now the last few events have been not bad in my opinion. I was pretty excited for the raid week and then could barely find that many raids to do, especially I was playing solo a lot that week. We did get a couple of you know, raid squads and the Lapras day was fun, but genuinely I have never read an announcement and been so excited for an event. This, I am stoked for this event honest genuine feedback the other ones i was like that should be fun and you know they were okay they were, they were fun i'm gonna lose my brain over this one seriously let's jump into it and this is for adventure week in pokemon go so i'm gonna do a lot of reading i don't want to get anything wrong but here we go starting on tuesday june the 4th so that's all this is all dates will be pdt so san francisco time america time if you're in australia or new zealand pretty much add a day um, at 1 p.m. So again, Australia, 6 a.m. the following day, New Zealand, 8 a.m. the following day, June the 4th, 1 p.m. PDT, to Tuesday, June the 11th, uh, 1 p.m. PDT. This is what we're going to be having. Rock-type Pokemon like Geodude, Rhyhorn, Omanyte, Aran, Lilip, Anorith, and many more will appear more frequently in the wild. Okay, that's fine. There's some cool shinies in there. That's not too bad. Similar to last year's Adventure Week, Rock-type Pokemon. Hatch. Rock type Pokemon such as Onyx, Lavatar, Lilip, Anorith, and Shieldon from Two Kilometer Eggs. Excuse me? Shield? Where was this when it was Kingdom Cut? I'm joking, that's not their responsibility. But Shieldon, Two Kilometer Eggs, are you serious? And some of these are going to sound a little bit spicier for that reason in a second, too. Challenge Onyx. Uh, and other rock type Pokemon in raids, pretty standard for themed events. You may encounter shiny Onyx, Lilip, or Anorith. Nice, like that's pretty cool. I know Onyx has been one that's been asked for pretty frequently. Shiny Anorith and Armaldo, though, dude, that's a cool color combo. I really like that one. Lilip, not really my style, as uh, you guys might know. Green is pretty much my least favorite color, but Anorith and Armaldo. That's cool. I like that. 
keep in mind guys this will be shiny onyx not crystal onyx from the anime um as we've seen in the game we've never had you know stuff properly from the anime put in even the sunglasses squirtle wasn't quite right but hey whoever, you, who knows in the future they might be able to work towards something like that you know convince the pokemon company that you know we can kind of like blur those lines between the reality of Pokemon and the anime with, you know, that's a specific island. So shiny po shiny Onyx, not Crystal Onyx, as much as that would be spicy too. But three new shinies are rolling out for one event. This is where it starts to get really good. Earn four times Buddy Candy. So chuck your Adventure Sync on, make sure your Adventure Sync is popping. Four times Buddy Candy for any distance walked. Again, walk with something that you need candies for. I'm walking with Gibble at the moment, the one and only Gibble that I've found. I need those candies. I'm trying to save rare candies for PvP and other things like that. So, winner. Visit new Pokestops to earn 10 times XP on your first spin of each photo disc. So again, it's time to go and explore new places that you've never been to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because you're going to be getting 10 times XP for spinning new Pokestops. That is, again, ridiculous. Someone did an experiment last year and hit level 40 during this event just by spinning new Pokestops as, like, a fun little thing to do. Get out there and find some new stops. And now this is the last bit that has me really hyped. Trainers who have Adventure Sync activated and walk 50 kilometers will earn 50 thousand stardust and 15 rare candy yes please oh my god i need i need this stardust seriously if you're going to go fest and you are doing special trades or if you're someone who is your person in the community that is the special trade farmer you're throwing out special trades like oprah winfrey gives away cars Fifty thousand stardust that's fantastic that's like two regionals to a stranger and like 10,000 left over. Or that's a new shiny with your best friend plus 10,000 left over. Like, that's a chunk of dust. <laughs> oh. Keep in mind, guys, as well, I want to try this. I've never tried this for Adventure Sync rewards. I wonder what would happen if you popped a star piece before claiming the Adventure Sync reward. If that would work. Keep it in mind. Give it a test. And 15 rare candies, not bad. There's 15 more rare candies to go into, you know, Gibble or your Rainbow Cup team or whatever it might be. And lastly, there'll be specifically themed field research tasks during the event. Um, oh, oh, this is going to be fun. I'm in a place where I have abundant access to new Pokestops. I'm keen to go and explore further. Further than just, you know, what I would normally have access to here. Like, I'm going off the beaten track to find the rest of those unspun Pokestops. 10 times XP, 50k to start us for walking 50 kilometers. Like, that's pretty achievable. Break it down into days, guys. Pretty much, if you're walking, what is it, like 7 kilometers a day? Each day, you'll be able to hit that 50k GGs. Take the longer route to work. Take your lunch break outside of the office if you can whatever it might be go for an after work stroll with your family your kids your dog maybe after work walks aren't a thing for you it is this week it is going to be during adventure week you can do it and make sure you have adventure sync enabled because if you have the game closed your phone in your pocket and adventure sync on it will count your walking around the house you're doing the lawn mowing anything like that i know there is currently a bug with adventure sync my phone is affected by this bug uh, as a bug on ios i specifically asked niantic about it i believe some of the bugs are intended to be completely fixed before the event rolls out I don't want to confirm for which phones, which models, all that kind of jazz. I don't have that sort of insight, but they're very much aware of it. They're addressing it. So fingers crossed. I mean, so for me, I'm someone who is affected by this. So I feel you. If you're affected by it as well, I know <laughs> what it feels like at the moment because I physically, I just have to have the game open constantly. Otherwise, I can't track distance. And like, I mean, open, open, like the game screen on. So they're aware. Fingers crossed. 50k dust though. Ha. Oh. I know, dude, it's it's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna get this bad boy editing, get it up for you guys, uh, go have a cup of tea with my mum, I think she's still asleep, <laughs> then take you for some adventures through Pahia, Bangare, Keri Keri, Haruru Falls. I'm not sure what we're doing today, but I'll be catching you guys probably tomorrow or the next day with some spicy.
New Zealand goodness. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for merch and Patreon are in the description down below. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.